Yeah, there's still more to this ending. I, I don't remember this ending being this long until I well, went through it again. I was like, whoa. You know, I can't believe they actually had like a r relatively long ending for its day. I mean, usually, you know, at, at best, you might have gotten like, okay, here's uh, some text or you defeated the bad guys and, you know, everything's all good now. And then the end and maybe some credits if you're lucky. You know, but, you know, we're actually, you know, going back to the worlds and or the various areas that we went to and, you know, seeing what happened. You know, what are people going to be doing now? You know, talking about the consequences of, you know, what actually happened, which, you know, was pretty rare for a game back then. Huh, that must be Blazer there that they're talking about. But yeah, I mean, I'm, j you know, I am just amazed that this game wasn't more popular back in its day. I mean, I heard it sold, like, less than 100,000 copies in the United States, which is just mind-blowing to me. I mean, they even promoted it in Nintendo Power, you know, and everything. I mean, that's how I found out about it back in the day. You know, I mean, you'd figure that, you know, something that was, like, you know, promoted as a premier game in Nintendo Power would have gotten more attention, but I guess not. I mean, everything in the game works. I don't think there's any bugs, to my knowledge. It's a pretty deep game, especially for its day. I mean, what did parents say? No, no, we can't have games with God or the devil or, you know, uh, violence or suicide bombers or anything like that back in the back then, you know? I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe people thought it was, you know, just, you know, another, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a platformer. No, it's not a platformer, but, you know, just another Zelda clone or something like that. I don't know. And this is what constitutes pretty good graphics back in 1991 or 2 or whenever this was. Let's watch the credits roll. Speaking of the graphics, uh, as for my usual review of the game, I'd give the graphics a 7 out of 10. You know, pretty good graphics. Uh, certainly better than, you know, the little sprites that we had back then. You know, like, uh, let's say The Legend of Zelda, you know, or any Final Fantasy game at the time. You know, they were just tiny sprites. You know, we had relatively large characters back then. You know, and, and uh, you know, they were all... Uh, the action was reasonably good, and all the, you know, they had a large bad guy at the end that you had to, you know, kill its head, and you had all these lasers flying at you and flames coming out of the ground and everything, you know, I, th I liked that, that was pretty good. Uh, the music, I'd give an 8 out of 10, I think that's probably the strong point of the game, I mean, they had so many great tracks that I really enjoyed, that really got you in the mood for killing monsters and everything, like... Uh, Dr. Leo's Laboratory was probably my favorite. Final Boss music was good. I liked the ending music. Uh, what was that one in the third world? Uh, Sotherta, I think it was, or something like that. Dun, 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 I liked that. In the storyline, I'd, I'd give a 7 out of 10 as well. I mean, it's pretty deep, but also, you know, not a whole lot of character development. You know, not a lot for me to, uh... Make fun of, you know? I mean, that's one thing I like about newer games, in a way. They give me so much more material. And as for the gameplay mechanics, I'd also give it a 7 out of 10. You know, I mean, it's basically, you know, your average action-adventure game. You know, magic swords, killing monsters and everything. So, you know, 7 out of 10. You know, nothing wrong with it. I wish they'd make the magic spells a little more balanced. But, you know, take what you can get. So overall, I'd give the game a 7 out of 10, you know, basically a relatively average game, but very fun, very enjoyable. I highly recommend it to anyone. And thus, brings a close to... Wait, what's going on? Oh, it's not over yet. Well, don't you know? You're freaking God, man. Hey, hey, I didn't touch her, man. She wasn't touched by an angel. Oh, well, look who's talking. Look at me. I'm God. I'm Mr. Perfect. I'm not attracted to anyone. <laughs> oh,
No, no, don't punish me like that. Please, no, no. I don't want to be human. Oh, well, that's just great. Yeah, what a deal, God. Thanks. Oh, she named her goat Turbo. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Hey, he's back. No shrine or temple entrance or anything? I, I don't know. Would that be my, my name now? Yeah, it's been a year, but she perfectly remembers us as though it were yesterday. No! Well, I could have lied to her, but, eh. Okay, well, that, that's great, but I don't, uh, no, it's, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're just jacking me around. Oh, so she's just totally going to accept this now. Well, this is Soul Blazer, you know? I mean, you gotta accept whatever they tell you with this one. <laughs> that's one thing I liked about this. It was just so ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, we can make beautiful music together. Yeah. Let's start all over again and kill more monsters. Say hello. <laughs> that. Yeah, that's about as good of a goat noise as you're going to get out of me. Sorry, viewers. All right, so now Lisa's gonna give us a tour instead of the goat. Or is the goat going to give both of us a tour? Who knows? Hey, quit grazing on the grass there. The end! And thus brings a close to Let's Play Soul Blazer. I hope you've enjoyed it. Look out for my, well, not my next up Let's Play series, but in the future I'll be doing Illusion of Gaia. I also plan on playing Terranigma, uh, although I want to uh, do another game between now and then anyway. And I'm going to be taking a break from a side Let's Play series for a little while because I've got another finale to work on in the near future and i, I got to start another main Let's Play series and everything. So lots of stuff going on. So that's all for this Let's Play series. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.